The final rose is given by Gerry in a heartbreaking conclusion. The first season of The Golden Bachelor has come to an abrupt end. On September 28, ABC spin-off series The Bachelor premiered, with 22 older women competing for the attention of 72-year-old widower Jerry Turner. Following several weeks of dating, trips to her homeland, and an interesting hotel stay in Costa Rica, Gary eventually decided on two women. The reasonist, a 70-year-old financial services expert, and Leslie Fema, a 64-year-old fitness teacher. In the poignant Thursday, November 30, television series finale, Gary informed Leslie that he had made the decision to go with the Risse. Leslie told Gary, through sobs, that he could feel how the she wanted. In the part that was taped in Costa Rica after the hotel stay, Gary apologised and added, I wish there was something I could say, but I know there isn't. Gary expressed his happiness with his decision to the audience while they awaited the outcome. Leslie declared to the audience as she took the stage that she was devastated. The findings were released one day after a piece in The Hollywood Reporter, featured allegations from a woman claiming to have dated Turner for three years, beginning just three months after Tony's death. Gary claimed in The Golden Bachelor that he hadn't kissed a woman in six years, ostensibly alluding to his late wife. The woman, identified only as Carolyn in the report, claimed in an interview with Thur that she and Jerry had a falling out over his 2019 high school reunion, which she had not invited her to since she had put on ten pounds. She said that although Turner had requested her to vacate his house by January 2020, she had fallen down the stairs while packing, necessitating an ear visit and foot surgery. Carolyn claimed that after Turner came back, he indicated that she wanted to sue him for the injury in addition to accusing her of falling so she could stay at his house longer. See if Jerry Turner got engaged in the Golden Bachelor finale. The first ever senior citizen led in the series, Teresa Nist and Leslie Fema, struggled to choose between the two of them when the Golden Bachelor came to A. Wait for it. Dramatic end on November 30, who then took Gary up on his final rose. Warnings. In the end, the 72-year-old widower chose Teresa, a 70-year-old financial services expert, to go on the season's first one-on-one -on -one date with. It's evident that the New Jersey native left a lasting impression since in the two-hour finale. Gary also asked Theresa to marry him. Through the course of this journey, I said to myself, how lucky would I be to find a second true love in my lifetime? He stated to the cameras, and today I'm going to get down on one knee, look at the seer and ask her to marry me. Desaire informed him, as time went on, I felt it more and more to the point where I'm so madly in love with you, Gerry, before he asked her out. And I believe that the best is still to come for us, and that life isn't finished. You are the world's most amazing man, in my opinion. I want to spend my entire life with you now that I've discovered you. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. But Gerry kept her on the edge of her seat when he said... I realised that you're not the right person for me to live with shortly before the proposal. He paused before continuing, saying, You're the one that I can't live without. She answered yes when he requested to shake her hand. Theresa was the early favourite because of her iconic birthday suit entrance on the first night and her ability to connect with Gary over their shared spouse's death. However, many viewers thought the retired restaurateur would choose Leslie before the fantasy suite dates because he told the personal trainer, who used to date Prince in Minneapolis, that she was the one. In the epilogue, Gary declared, I have fallen in love with Theresa, ending his relationship with Leslie and that's the course I intend to follow. So everything you told me the other night was a lie? She inquired. As soon as I saw you today, I knew we were not mistaken. You weren't right. After denying lying to her, he elaborated, saying, things have changed. Things have evolved. Nothing went wrong, according to Gary, who went on to say, you're both wonderful, but only of you is. Basically, Gary told, A. Eh, News prior to the season that his time spent alone off-camera with each woman seemed to have changed everything for him. Regarding the fantasy suites, Jerry remarked, Believe me, when I say that it was the most important time of the journey, 
I'm not exaggerating, and it has to do with the conversations that happen behind closed doors and not a physical activity. Gary claimed these conversations actually brought about a whole new degree of intimacy. If I had gone behind the locked door for the physical intimacy, I wouldn't have come out with the right decisions that I made after those nights, he said. I would have missed some very, very important information that was exchanged. See which couples are still together by looking back at each season of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. I am happy with how this season turns out. Charity Lawson hinted at her August 2023 finale in a statement, News. Integrative medicine expert Dotun Olubiko declared their love to be perfect, bending down to ask the child and family therapist, would you do me the honour of turning this fairy tale into a reality? The couple stated that they are thinking about getting married in 2025 or 2026. But before that, the Georgia native will take a spin around the Dancing with the Stars ballroom. During the bachelorette, after the final rose, Dot uncomforted Charity, saying, All right, baby, I am aware that you enjoy getting down, dancing and cutting up. We've discussed this before, you know, how wonderful this opportunity would be. And it gives me great pleasure to inform you that you will be competing on Dancing with the Stars. Let Zack will get his happily ever after. Zack Shalcross concluded season 27 in March 2023 down on one knee, despite a number of missteps pertaining to Fantasy Suite. Telling travel nurse Katie Bigger, I am my universe revolves around you. I could never have imagined the kind of affection I have for you. The Texas-based couple took a significant step forward in July 2023 when Katie posted on Instagram saying, officially roommates. Oh, the mazes we entangle ourselves in when we try to find love in bed. One of the most dramatic finales of the eighth season of Bachelor in Paradise saw Victoria Fuller, the medical sales representative who went up against Peter Weber, show up at the reunion in November 2022 in a very serious relationship. And no, it wasn't with Johnny DeFilippo, the realtor whose proposal she accepted in Mexico. Charity Lawson creates history on Bachelor Data by reaching the Dancing with the Stars finale. Supporting Charity with Cheers, currently competing on season 32 of Dancing with the Stars. Charity Lawson, a former bachelorette, is paired with professional dancer Artem Chivintsev. Week after week, the two have been killing it, earning some of the best scores in the ballroom. She received two flawless tens from the judges for her elegant rumba and quick-step routines during her semi-finals performance, which gave her an overall score of 59 or 60. That implies that she will make history by making it to the finale. Hey guys, Susanna of Bachelor Data posted on her Instagram profile. Here at Bachelor Data. I'm here to congratulate Charity Lawson on her huge success. As a result of her success, every bachelorette who has competed in Dancing with the Stars since 2005 has advanced to the finale. Charity, congratulations. The entire Bachelor Nation is supported. Susanna also disclosed in a follow-up post that historically, Bachelor Nation women have placed higher in the competition than Bachelor Nation men. We're crossing our fingers and will continue to cast our votes the next week in hopes that Charity will return the mirror ball to the Bachelor Nation. See her this week's performance down below.